Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Ascension video guide. It's been a while since I've actually done one of these just because all the latest Galactic Legends, their Galactic Ascension unlock events have been relatively easy. Obviously aside from Kylo and Rey they got progressively easier. However man this tier 2 for uh, Leia I finally was able to start uh, working on her event last week. I unlocked her I'm just kind of farming ultimates right now. Um, definitely tier 2, very tricky, lots of RNG in this one. Uh, I had a look around a little bit, see what's going on uh, in terms of, you know, what other people are doing. And it's just, it looks like kind of common consensus seems like modding for tenacity is the way to go. I had a play around with it, that's what I started with. Uh, so for my attempts, the first attempt I did uh, was with tenacity. First run, barely made it, then I lost two in a row. And I'm like, all right, let's look for alternatives. Then I tried potency mods and then I was able to win, uh, you know, two in a row and complete this tier two. So definitely potency, at least for me, seemed to work better. Obviously now after I finished it, I can go back and I did about 50 attempts today, different mod sets. So I only kind of have three different approaches that I want to share with you today that you can try. I can't definitely say which one works better. I guess it depends what kind of mods you have. Uh, however, a lot comes down to the RNG, but at least with either of these three approaches, as long as the RNG isn't horrible, hopefully you should be able to get some good uh, win rates here. If you just go in with some random mods, probably you will not be able to win this one. Uh, so we'll definitely talk about, before I go into the battles and different modding strategies, uh, I will talk about the RNG factors of uh, this event here. Unfortunately, CG doesn't give us a whole lot of information here. Also, we get a borrowed C3PO, so he's modless. And there is a C3PO that's actually carrying this battle in terms of the damage output with his exposes from his unique, calling guys to assist. It even says, you C3PO's, oh my goodness, uh, that will apply transla translation to your allies. Well, I would, but he's without mods, so he's dang slow. <laughs> uh, so he's hardly getting any turns unfortunately uh, that's really the downside if you know they would give us a better c3po or if we could use our own this event would be a lot easier we could make him faster throw more potency on him and things like that by the way i'm getting ahead of myself before we actually do that let's actually talk about darth vader because he is really annoying in this one so from what i understand the darth vader we face uh, in this event is what we have uh, so obviously the leadership itself brings an element of RNG already in here. Uh, now this is his leadership because Empire and Sith allies have 50% chance to remove 20% turn meters. If you get unlucky, uh, once the snow troopers start doing their AoEs and everything, they'll just keep pushing back your turn meter, keep pushing back your turn meter. So it can really happen if you get a bad RNG run that this 50% uh, chance kicks in every single time. <laughs> you know you will be struggling to get uh, some turns out there with your guys and also this turn meter removal cannot be resisted on top of it all uh, damage over times whenever they expire or whatever you cleanse them off they get reapplied and this then comes nicely i guess for the Darth Vader with his unique because every time um, the they actually damage over times expires they Darth Vader is recovering health and protection so if he gets too many damage over times out there he'll constantly be healing up and you will be struggling to take him down because c3po is so dang slow really uh, so this really i guess his leadership in combination with his unique makes this a little bit uh, challenging it also doesn't help that the, uh, the enemy Darth vader's ai it's all over the place sometimes it starts with a force crush sometimes it starts with a culling blade however if it starts with merciless this is where things can get dicey because it gets all these bonus turns in like if he starts off with the force crush you kind of still have a good way uh, to get him down but yeah if he starts with merciless you could be in trouble so it's kind of the remis reminiscent of the uh, jedi master look tier 3 event where you're going solo jedi knight look versus vader there's just so much rng because you don't know what darth vader will do on each turn he's just doing some random stuff and as well on top of it all the basic ability here it, it has 100% chance so it's a guaranteed ability block on the rebel and Jedi allies cannot be resisted cannot be evaded so this ability block sometimes can be a little bit annoying 
he can get uh, with Merciless, he gets C3PO out of stealth, then he can ability block C3PO, you can't use all my goodness, or ability blocks one of the other guys, so you know, Darth Vader here is all over the place, uh, we have no tanks, we have nothing really, unfortunately here, so just a case of either surviving the damage over times, hence the tenacity modding, but for my testing, like uh, Captain Han, he just doesn't have enough tenacity, even with full tenacity set, Darth Vader was still quite reliably landing uh, debuffs on him, whereas at least Leia, for the most part, if you do stack her with tenacity, she should be able to resist most of the times. Now let's look up next what actually uh, the team that we'll be using brings to the table. So Leia Organa herself, uh, again a lot of RNG in her kit, so we're dealing physical damage, inflicting buffing immunity, uh, whatever, right? And then Leia gains 10% ter meter, ten additional 10% meter if the target ha had full health, and additional 10% meter if the target is Empire. So this little bit helps, you know, your uh, turns going, um, especially if you mod your guys for speed, you can probably get like two turns versus Vader's one. But if you got lots of damage over time, so if you're getting lots of turns, you're healing Vader up. So <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky one here, but her basic doesn't do a whole lot, to be honest. Then her AoE, again, it's a bit of an RNG fest, this one. It deals physical damage 10 times to random enemy targets. The actual AoE doesn't do really... Oh a whole lot of damage and then enemies struck more than once so at least twice they get ability block however this ability block can be resisted uh, so in ideal world right you would target vader and this would say for example the target enemy gets ability blocked right but you don't know will vader get hit twice once you don't know who's gonna get hit how many times and then on top of it all, if you don't uh, really mod your uh, Leia for potency, this ability block gets resisted quite a lot. Uh, then also, whenever Leia scores a critical hit or suffers a debuff, the cooldown of this ability will be reduced. I didn't put any critical chance on Leia and she was pretty much critting non-stop, um, so I don't think that was really necessary. Then her leadership, Rebel Allies have 20% tenacity, yay, 20% critical chance. And then whenever uh, we take damage from an enemy, we have, again, 50% chance to gain foresight. So it's lots of 50% chances in this one, hence the RNG here. And then the first time e each turn Rebel Ally resists or suffer a debuff, they gain 30% turn meter. So a little bit more, more turn meter here. But I believe that this turn meter is behind her Zeta. So if you, do have Zeta on, if you don't have Zeta on her, I'm not sure if this kicks in uh, because once we get to the battle, you will see that all the characters we are having have all the Zetas. While in my case, Leia does have Zeta, Han doesn't. So it's not entirely clear do we get free Zetas in this event or not. Just something I wanted to highlight. And then her unique, she has temper. That's a bit low. Well, why only 10%? Come on, CG. Leia can, can get a bit better kid here. And 40% tenacity. So I guess this plus 40% tenacity just pushes her tenacity high enough that she can actually resist most of Vader's debuff, whereas Captain Han does not have extra tenacity from his unique, hence he's getting debuffed a lot even with tenacity. And then the first time each turn Leia resists, she gains 15% her meter and 35% offense stacking until the end of her turn. Man, this would be so much more powerful, it would be like until end of the encounter, right? So really what Leia brings is ways to gain some bonus ter meter whenever we are debuffed or hit by Empire and stuff. That's pretty much it. All the other stuff, you know, doesn't really help us uh, here at all. Then let's look at Captain Han next. He's basic. Lands a daze. Yay. <laughs> and if Han has full health, he gains some ter meter. So again, a little bit of, I guess, extra ter meter gain on his basic is pretty nice. Hunker down, this ability is slightly disappointing, it dispels debuffs on Han and just target other ally, not everybody. They both recover some health and gain some turn meter and then if they also had full health they will also recover 20% protection. But just the target will recover 20% protection, Han not himself. Um, so not a great of ability if like would have a bigger heal for everybody, this could be really useful. And then this one's got to revive. Sometimes when, you know, things go wrong, you lose people. Actually, this revive can come in handy. So I'm not going to say it's 
uh, completely useless but for the most part <laughs> if you start losing people you will struggle to win and uh, I do not have Zeta on his unique uh, that's why I mentioned before once I get to the battle you will see that it looks like the Zetas are active so Captain Han Solo has extra critical chance so again no need for I think critical chance modding here and 30% critical damage but if you're doing low damage plus 30% critical damage or plus 10% offense for Leia <laughs> won't help you much there in addition at the end of his turn Han recovers health if Han is already uh, some he healing now whether you have Zeta or not or whether Zeta is active or not it could be uh, sli slightly detrimental to, to you because whenever Han uses his basic he gains 10% max health stacking for three turns and damage over times deal damage based on health so this could actually work against us if this Zeta indeed is active because then you will be getting more damage from there and finally let's look at this C3PO I'm not gonna go through entire kit because it does a lot of things uh, unfortunately as mentioned before no mods on C3PO so he'll be very very slow obviously the good thing is oh my goodness you give translation you call somebody for an assist uh, which will be useful because remember both Leia and Han whenever they're called to assist with their basic they're getting some bonus turn meter and then as well they can ex apply expose thanks to C3PO's unique so we, whenever rebels use their basic uh, then we will inflict expose on the target enemy so this C3PO's basic and all the other basics can land exposes and this is where the bulk of the damage is coming from hence the kind of discussion tenacity versus potency if you totally mod your team for tenacity you sometimes struggle to land these exposes while it gives you better survivability, sometimes you don't deal enough damage. If you go completely for potency, if you get lots of damage over times, it can be as well difficult there. Uh, but regardless of the modding, uh, there are different uh, really factors here when it comes to the battle. For example, C3PO here, um, you, you, you should try and time it out at the end of wave one that you kill off the last enemy when C3PO actually has high turn meter because remember he's very slow without mods uh, so for my testing if Darth Vader goes uh, before your C3PO you could be in trouble because obviously C3PO doesn't use his oh my goodness which means you can't get assist more damage out there you can't get translation out there straight away confusion as well on Vader uh, and then on top of it all then as well Vader can land ability block on your C3PO gets him you know and then you can't use oh my goodness once he gets turned as well so whichever modding strategy you use I would say for me uh, the the biggest fail rate was when I wasn't able to time C3PO having high turn meter enough to go into wave 2 whenever I was able to time it out in a way the C3PO went before enemy Darth Vader and all my free guys went before Vader then you know the win rate was much better whether you're going down the potency tenacity route or a mix that I will show you. So for me at least, C3PO, this was the biggest uh, thing that had effect on the win and of course Darth Vader doing God knows what he decides, right? We have no idea what he will do. Okay, so with all these details out of the way, apologies for a little bit of a long introduction, but I just wanted to explain some of the mechanics and most importantly RNG factors that will play the part just that you can a little bit understand what can go wrong and hopefully once I'm doing playthrough we'll come across these uh, situations and see if we can somehow pull ahead and win. Okay so it's finally time for battle so first I'll do three attempts with the tenacity loadout so just let me show you the mods that I'll be having on these guys. So my Leia here uh, just to show you her stats um, so I, I focused on protection, speed and obviously as much tenacity as I could 152% tenacity on her. Uh, in terms of the primaries uh, protection here, uh, tenacity here, protection here because remember damage over times they actually deal damage based on health so the uh, higher protection you have versus health 
less damage you'll actually be taking you can take more hits now for the arrow i see many people suggesting crit avoidance i do not have good crit avoidance mods because i've been neglecting them so i decided to slap another protection arrow here i had with the tenacity set uh, just to add a little bit more to survivability in case you know she does get critically hit uh, so that's last mods um, for Han here, uh, similar situation, but again, I do not have a huge pool of amazing tenacity sets, um, so I couldn't get Han as fast, so 248, and as well as you can see, 145% tenacity. So both of them quite close tenacity, however, as you see, uh, Leia, Leia gains additional 40% tenacity from her, her unique, and looks like that's enough to make her resist most of Vader's buffs. In terms of modes, uh, same thing, primary protection here, uh, tenacity uh, protection and arrow protection as well because I do not have crit avoidance, but apparently crit avoidance can help you avoid those critical hits a little bit more. But remember, once uh, when Darth Vader is in Merciless, he gets, uh, I think, 50% extra critical chance. So once he's Merciless, I don't think crit avoidance will make all the difference. And here comes our modeless borrowed c3po unit uh, which will make this guy very very slow at 152 although i believe he gains is it uh, 10 or 20 speed from his unique so a little bit extra there but uh, that's all about it oh before i go in just wanted to show you as you see my han does not have zeta applied on him okay so this Han has my mods but it has a zeta on his unique so looks like whether you have zetas or not Zetas are active or it's just a visual glitch, I'm not sure. If anyone's aware, uh, let me know in the comments below what's going on with this whole Zeta situation here. Okay, so I'll do uh, three attempts with this tenacity loadout and then we'll move on to the next one. Let's just see what RNG gods will give us in attempt number one with tenacity mod set. When you've gotten past the energy field, proceed directly to the rendezvous point. Understood? Good luck! All right, no reply from Han. He's already at the rendezvous point, I guess. All right, uh, so we're just gonna kick off here uh, with the AOE. There we go. We got ability blocks, but got resisted there. Uh, I guess, you know, as mentioned before, without potency, landing debuffs on these guys is challenging. I did get an expose there, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get a stack of translation on Han. And uh, we'll just keep going. There we go, expose there, perfect. All right, okay. Um, we'll just keep going. Let's unload another AoE here. There we go. C3PO helping us out there with his exposes. And we go on to Snow Trooper number one. Uh, I'll just keep going. All right. Okay. Um, like, I don't want to use Oh My Goodness here because sometimes if you kill off these guys too quickly, then uh, Oh My Goodness is not of cooldown for the next wave. So I'll just keep doing basics from here on out. All right. Okay, yeah, basic. Okay, come on. Uh, ooh, come on, give me an expose. Come on. There we go, finally landing exposes there. As you can see, we're kind of out of our protection a little bit already. <laughs> so not that great, but we'll just keep going. Uh, as you can see, without potency on your guys, landing exposes uh, can be troublesome. Some of these battles do drag on for a while. Okay, come on. All right. Uh, hmm. Mm, not sure what I want to do here. Let's do a basic. Ooh. Um, let's see if we can stall this out because C3PO will get a turn and then his turn meter won't be quite full. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So C3PO, we go after Leia, I've got no expose on Snow Trooper, so there's no way I'll be able to kill him off. So what I'll do here, I'll just use the AoE here, uh, because to be honest, opening up with an AoE, if you don't have potency on Leia, Vader will most likely resist the ability block if he gets actually hit more than twice anyway. So I'm just gonna use the AoE here, kill off the final Snow Trooper, and now C3PO will be going in with a full turn meter more or less into the next wave, so he can go before Vader. Okay, so uh, let's get some assists going. Um, actually, Leia's got a lower turn meter, so let's call her for assist here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, no exposes there. Luckily, Vader was a bit of a jerk here. 
a bit of an idiot. He used his basic, not his force crush. Uh, and that's why I said lots of these battles come down as well down to what Vader's AI will do. Okay, this time going into Merciless. Alright, there goes Han, there goes Leia. <laughs> oh boy, there we go. Okay, so here I am at the end of wave 2 again trying to line this up. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead a little bit heal up Leia. Uh, there we go. Give me an expose. No expose is still on here. Okay, there we go. Ah, oof. Come on. So as you can see, it's really hard to time this without exposes. Um, let's just hopefully an AOE will kill him off. There we go, perfect. Alright. Let's see attempt number two with the tenacity set that I showed you in the beginning. Uh, I'm just gonna go basic. Uh, we can... Uh, I mean, Lael will get a turn, so let's actually call Hunt for an assist here. There we go. So this time Darth Vader started off with a Culling Blade. Okay. <laughs> That's so so random, but so far so good. Definitely much better looking than the first attempt. But that's because Darth Vader uh, is a bit of a funny one. Okay, here comes the Force Crush. Okay, as you can see, Han barely hanging in there. Oh, so close. Do it, do it. Hey, there we go. We got Darth Vader down. Uh, definitely very close one, I would say. Let's go ahead, dispel of C3PO. And from here on out, we are good to go, to be honest. Not much can go wrong here. Okay, so we got the last Snow Trooper now down in the yellow. Let's see if we can time this in a way that C3PO has got a healthy turn meter. Okay. Well, it looks like this time C3PO will have very low turn meter. So at least I guess an example of what happens when you are, are not able to time it in such a way. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with a basic. Let's just smack an AoE. And Vader going into Merciless, doing his Force Crush. Again, landing debuffs on Han through his 145% tenacity. Now normally you don't want to use this ability too loosely because whenever you dispel the majority of time Darth Vader is recovering health and protection but I do want to get that ability block off C3PO so he can actually now use oh my goodness hopefully we get some exposes along the way okay okay so far we are hanging in there Okay, but as you can see, Tenacity and Leia did help us out there with the damage over time. So definitely modding Leia for Tenacity can help. Uh, how are we looking so far? Uh, I'm just going to do a basic here. Vader coming in with another Force Crush. Uh, landing another damage over time over on Han. Here we go. Getting another, oh my goodness, throw down an AoE. So Leia kind of heals herself her up a little bit better. Uh, we'll just do basics here. Okay. Alright. Oof. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, guys. As I said, personally for me, either I'm misplaying the whole tenacity mod setup uh, or my tenacity mods are just not good. Same thing happened as I was playing the actual event. I was, uh, I get out of first three attempts, I get only one win with tenacity. Same thing here where I was doing live recording. It's definitely tenacity set, not my preferred choice, but I know some for some people it worked really well. So let's now go ahead and switch to the potency mods and I'll show you how that one works for me. Okay, so I did a quick remod, and here are now mods modded for potency. Uh, so these are my last stats. As you can see, my potency mods are a lot better than my tenacity set, so my guys are faster. Uh, maybe that's why also I'm not getting that good rate with tenacity. Um, this time, as you can see, potency very high here. So hopefully we'll be able to land those exposes and ability blocks more reliably here. Then we got Hans set as well, as you can see, much better than Tenacity set in terms of speed. Also lots of potency on there and of course C3PO is the same. But maybe if you got amazing Tenacity uh, mods, maybe that will be better. Again, I don't have crit avoidance arrows, so I just went with speed arrows on everybody. Uh, so I just hop in the battle. But otherwise, yeah, I went protection triangle, protection circle and cross, of course, 
potency. So that those are my mods. And uh, let's go ahead and see the wave one the difference. Let's go ahead and load an Aeoni. So as you can see, immediately ability blocks landing because of the extra potency. Also, uh, the actual exposes uh, seem to be landing more reliably once you do mod for potency. So you burn through these guys much faster than you do with a tenacity set, uh, which not only shortens the, I guess, the length of the battle for you, uh, but also uh, it makes sure when you finish this faster that your Han and Leia still have more protection going into the next wave. Okay, so we're down to the last one. Let's see if we can time this in a way uh, that C3PO still has a healthy turnometer. Uh, basic here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. C3PO has got quite full turnometer. Exposes landing reliably. Was able to finish him off there. So the ideal scenario going into wave two. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, do an AOE. Okay, we got some ability blocks, not on Vader. Maybe he was only hit once, uh, not twice, I don't know. Let's go ahead and call Han here for an assist. He gets translation. As you can see, the amount of damage we are doing to Vader is very, very good. However, <laughs> without tenacity on Leia, she will be getting debuffs on her. So it's kind of a, uh, you know, interesting situation. Han's not looking too good. Uh, so what I'll do actually here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, clean up C3PO. Okay, let's do an AoE now. There we go. We've got now ability block on Vader with an AoE from Leia. Again, RNG a little bit there. How many times does Vader get hit? Keep hitting that AoEs. Um, doing a basic. Uh, sure, let's get another stack of translation over on Han. But as you can see, with all these damage over times on Vader, we're a little bit struggling to get him down. I'm just going to do a basic here. Basic here. Okay, let's do another AoE. Almost got him. Come on, guys, you can do this. Come on. That should finish Vader, and there we go. We can now clean up Leia as well. And from here on out, we should be good to go. So definitely, by no means, you know, the cleanest of the runs, but personally, with potency, I just had more success, um, at least in my real run because of that extra damage we were putting out on Vader. However, then obviously with more debuffs on your guys, Vader is healing up more. Uh, so the same as before, uh, I will do a couple of more runs here with the potency set before we will go on to the third option, which it's kind of the middle ground between the two and where maybe we find the most success with. We'll have to uh, wait and see. Okay, so we got the Snow Trooper, the last one into the yellow. There we go, perfect again, was able to line it up that C3PO goes with, in with full turn meter, so he will get a turn before Darth Vader. Okay, uh, same thing, let's call here Han for an assist, uh, throw down an AoE. This time we did land ability block on Vader, uh, although that's not always a good thing, because if he ability blocks the wrong person, could be in trouble. Okay, here we go, another expose, that puts Vader into the ground, so there you go. With potency, you can actually burn down Darth Vader very quickly if you get, you know, good RNG. Where, it, like for me with tenacity, the battle always drags on, drags on. Um, so again, a different approach. It depends. It obviously, you know, lots of these. Especially, I guess, the biggest RNG is uh, Leia's AOE. Do you land ability block? Do not land ability block. In this case, we did, and we were able to handle Darth Vader very quickly because of all those exposes landing reliably because of the extra potency we had on our guys. Okay, let's run this one more time before we switch out the mod set again. Okay, so we got the last Snow Trooper down in the yellow again, trying to time it in a way that C3PO goes in with the full turbiter. All of this doesn't happen, I guess maybe it's good that we show what happens with the potency set uh, where Vader goes uh, before um, your C3PO. I could have timed it there if I would have used heal ability and stuff like that, but on purpose. Oh, will C3PO actually go before Vader? That's odd. Alright, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, he actually did. Alright, forget it. I wanted to purposely make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, so this time we did not get ability block on Vader. He goes into Merciless yet again, landing damage over times. Uh, Leia down okay let's see if we can get a hand in here for the revive okay sure give Leia back let's unload an AoE 
And in one way, I guess this will make it hopefully easier to kill off Vader because Leia does not have damage over times on her. Well, uh, so we should be able to get Vader down quicker. Boom, down he goes. And that's it, guys. Going free for free here with the potency set. Again, I'm not saying potency is the, uh, definitely better way than tenacity. Just for me personally, uh, from playing the live event as well as replaying, I just had more success uh, with potency. But maybe down to obviously my uh, tenacity sets not being all that great. Okay, uh, let's mi uh, mix things up and try one more uh, modding strategy and see how that one will work. Okay, so for the third and final mod uh, loadout, it's kind of a mixed bag here between uh, tenacity and potency. So I'm going back to having a Leia modded for tenacity because I like the fact that she's resisting all those damage over times because of the extra tenacity from her unique, stopping Vader from healing up. Her ability block while it lands is great, you can't really rely upon it in your strategy for this event. So I think maybe definitely having Leia Mother for tenacity could be a better thing to do. A uh, slight difference here, I put speed arrow on her instead of protection arrow because she's not getting any damage over times on her then you know protection really won't help you there. Otherwise all the other mods exactly the same so we have Oh, actually, I put defense on this one because I didn't have a fast uh, protection tenacity here. So I went really kind of more for speed and tenacity because, again, if she's resisting, she does need to be as survivable as Han. And the other one, tenacity protection. And let me show you for Han. While Han, because for my testing, also if you've seen in the videos, even with tenacity, Han is still kind of getting debuffed quite frequently. So I just said, you know what? Let's just mod him for potency instead, so at least we can land those exposes. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish uh, him off. Uh, and there is a slight difference here. Apart from potency, I, I went here with a protection arrow. I do not have potency with protection primary, so I just switched to defense. Uh, remember, we do not want health. Uh, the other two here are still protection. So get uh, and po protection and potency. So I guess it largely depends as well what kind of mods you have in your inventory. This is what I'm going good with, kind of uh, more focus on speed a little bit uh, and then Han, Potency, Protection, Leia, Speed, Tenacity um, because she's resisting anyways. Alright, I'll just play through now, let's go ahead and I'll meet you at the end of uh, uh, Wave 1. Alright, so we got Snow Trooper in the yellow, let's see if we can time it in a way that C3PO's got a lot of turn meter. Uh, looks like it won't happen in this first uh, example that we're doing here with this mixed, uh, I guess, mixed uh, mods set. I'm just gonna go ahead to an AoE, no ability blocks, but at least there you go, we are getting exposes there with Han on his basic, Leia resisting, <laughs> I lost C3PO there again. C3PO going after Vader, not an ideal outcome, but let's see if Come on, just stop ability blocking Han so he can bring C3PO back. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Here comes another Force Crush. I'm afraid Han won't make it. Yeah, that's a loss, guys. Again, this has nothing to do uh, with uh, bad mods. This is just, you know, C3PO having no turn meter. Vader being smart, starting off with Merciless, killing off C3PO, which, again, you can't bump up survivability of C3PO, he's a borrow unit, nothing I could do there, and then Han there constantly getting ability block, not being able to revive C3PO. So I think, you know, even perfect modding strategy in this scenario won't really be able to help you all that much. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, Snow Trooper in the yellow, let's see if we can time it in a way that our friend C3PO goes in there with a full turn meter. The basic here, basic there. Mm, again, not happening. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's do this again. Let's see if uh, you know we can prevail this time. Um, go basic here, do an AOE, and Vader again doing the smart thing, going into merciless. Uh, okay, we were able to survive there. That's good. Um, I guess let's go ahead and heal up Leia just a little bit, and then we can unload her AOEs. Uh, let's go ahead and get another stack of translation on Han. Okay, keep it going. Okay, oh, should have done an AoE there. My mistake. 
I'm gonna do an AoE now though. Ooh, so close, so close. Uh Alright. Ah uh, Come on, summon see there you go, they're removing turn meter from Leia. So again, the whole turn meter removal adds as well to the RNG play. But there we go, we were able to get him down. So you can see Play did basically the same previous in this attempt uh, with C3PO going in with low turn meter, but this time Vader was just not as smart as he was in first attempt and this time I won. So while you can have, you know, perfect modding strategy, perfect game strategy, just Darth Vader, he's just such a big RNG factor in this one that, you know, guarantee you 100% win rate with any sort of strategy, I don't know. <laughs> It's going to be very, very tough. Again, similar like that. Uh, Jedi Knight Luke uh, ver Solo versus Darth Vader. Tier 3 for Jedi Master uh, uh, Luke Unlock Event. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and run this one more time. And then we'll finish off the video. Alright, Snow Trooper in yellow. Let's see how we can time this. This one. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so C3PL had like half turn meter. I'm not sure that will be enough to go in front of Darth Vader. It will not be enough. However, what we can try and do actually is push some turn meter to C3PO. Let's see if that will be enough that he jumps the queue. Yeah, there we go. So that's another trick, I guess, you can use, um, you know, just a 25% turn meter bump sometimes is enough. Uh, I tried it once uh, and it was not enough, so again, not sure exactly, uh, but you can give this a go, uh, this trick as well. We already got translation on Han, so let's go ahead and put translation now on Leia. I'm gonna go ahead and smack an AoE here, I'll just do a basic over there. Here comes Vader with a Force Crush yet again. Okay, alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get him down before he causes any more trouble. Uh, there we go, they keep removing a little bit of turn meter. Uh, he was a little bit an idiot there, just casually throwing out his calling blade there. Okay, we got ability block on him, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, hmm. Han is not looking too good. Let's go ahead and heal him up. But if I dispel Leia, he will heal up. So actually, let's go ahead and pump up C3PO a bit. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead. Another stack of tr translation for Han. An AoE wasn't quite enough. Come on. That's it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so again, uh, showing you different modding strategy here. Uh, again, different little bit uh, tactics there. Using Han's middle ability to kind of push uh, turn meter and C3PO. But again, Darth Vader there, he just casually throwing a Culling Blade which kind of threw off, I guess, his rhythm in terms of other abilities. Uh, so again, you know, which which one works better? I'm not entirely sure. Like for me personally, I had the most success with potency um, just because of the extra exposes. If you can line it up in a way that C3PO goes before Darth Vader, that those potency lineups worked really well for me. Tenacity, always a bit of a struggle just because I think my tenacity sets are not really all that great and this last combination is maybe i guess kind of the best of both worlds here giving you tenacity to leia so she can resist most debuffs and then hunt there uh, with potency just making sure those exposes land a little bit more reliably so there you go guys i don't know uh what to say um giving you my personal experience three different approaches we had here different starting sequences for vader different rng uh, so they can just see, you know, what can happen. And if you get absolutely worst RNG in the world, you know, you are going to lose. Um, so uh, I don't think there's like, you know, a silver bullet, unfortunately, for this particular tier. It's just the way it is. It's just too much RNG when it comes to, you know, Leia's kid there with her ability blocking and Vader doing what Vader does, uh, to be honest. But at least you've got three different approaches, uh, three different ways to go about it. Like if Full tenacity set is not working for you. You can try potency or a mixed one. If you tried potency, potency doesn't work for you. Maybe go for tenacity or try the mixed approach. Just, you know, try to see that you don't keep losing over and over again. For me, it was like I went in with tenacity set, one first one, fine, then lost two in a row. And I'm like, all right, losing two in a row, 
let's switch things up i switched to potency and i was able to knock out this tier all right guys hopefully this video was useful and helpful it was a bit longer than i planned but there's just so much in this event that I really wanted to take time show you different uh, battles how rng works and different modding thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one but until then have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends